After playing Euro Truck Simulator 2 and getting lost in virtual reality with the DK2, it's now time to boot up a set of Corsa and try a new mod, an early release of a mod, European Racing Truck Physics version 7.5 by Dexter RBDN. Now, as I say, it is an early release of the mod and the model's not finished. And I think this is more just a sort of physics experiment to see if you can get a lorry working in a set of Corsa more than it is a... A, a, you know, a full attempt or a finalised vehicle. So, normally I wouldn't cover this sort of thing because it is that early that I'm sure there's going to be loads of problems with it. But I was absolutely fascinated to see what a lorry would be like to drive in a set of Corsa. And, uh, well, I'm going to do a couple of laps and let's see how it goes. Oh, it seems really edgy. And uh, I feel like I'm driving... A, a dinosaur or uh, driving the Eiffel Tower around the track here. Pick the uh, the Kunos. I'm going to say it's wrong. Is it Mancioni? The small track that's nice and flat because uh, I don't dare take this beast on anything more extreme. It's kind of going where I'm pointing it. Now, the only other truck I've ever played in a driving simulator is the. Uh, is it called Formula Truck by Reza Studios? I'm not sure. But even that, I haven't played that for for a long time, so I really don't have any reference for this. And of course, I've never driven a a, a racing truck in real life, so I have no clue what it's supposed to be like. It only has four gears. Oh, put the brakes on early. Well, it seems to like to brake in a straight line. Oh dear. Oh. <laughs> okay, when it goes, it goes. This is absolutely crazy to drive. It's hard to explain it. it. It sort of wants to understeer, but then if you put the power on, then it will go straight into an oversteer that seems really, really hard to catch. I guess because it's got a really, uh, I think they've got a really small wheelbase or narrow wheelbase relative to the weight, power and everything else with the vehicle. I absolutely know nothing about this type of vehicle, so... <laughs> This is all new to me as I'm bouncing along like a children's bouncy castle being blown by the wind. The engine sounds actually quite nice and grunty. I don't know what they've done for the sounds or where they've got them from. I think as a as an early uh, release, this actually has potential. It's certainly completely different to any other vehicle in the set of Corsa. And... Uh, that includes the Shelby Cobra and the Robin Reliant. The physics already feel better than uh, Euro Truck Simulator, or the force feedback and the way the vehicle's handling. Of course, you've normally got a big trailer attached to your vehicle in that game, so it's a totally different situation. And I doubt it's, uh, I doubt this lines up to uh, the road version of the lorry at all. They've probably done all sorts of modifications to it. Oh dear, it's really hard when you once you get in a slide, it's really hard to sort of control it or know what it's gonna do next. It's got a mind of its own. Absolutely crazy. Definitely worth downloading and giving it a try if you like just experimenting with different vehicles. Let's try and do a bit of a slidey lap now. Those were the uh those were meant to be the two clean laps. Let's put the throttle on around here and see what happens. Oh dear. It's really hard to uh, get a feel for where the back's coming in or what's going on with this. Try and slide it out. Oh no. <laughs> That's not happening. I, I don't think this is... Uh, with the default setup, I don't think this is much of a drift vehicle. I believe I've seen videos of people drifting these though, so maybe with the right setup or when this mod's further progressed, that will be a possibility. Yeah, it's not it's not happening. <laughs> Whoa dear. If you were to get a car, stand on a ladder, and then fill the bottom of the car up with concrete, I'd imagine this is how it would handle. Now, I'm not sure if that's a good or bad thing. I'm sure some people will like that, but as it is right now, this is not my cup of tea. 
this is like a cup of coffee, and I prefer tea. Oh dear. Good fun though, in a, in a silly in a silly way. And uh, it's going to be really fascinating to see how this mod progresses. Oh dear. Well, that that would do, I think. But that's the uh, the truck um, the truck mod. I'll put the link on the screen and in the comments. It's definitely very early on. Definitely is a real handful to control. But uh, kudos to the, uh, I forgot his name, Dexter RBDN, I think it was. Kudos to him for putting it together and getting it out there for everyone to try. Just fantastic to keep having content to play. And uh, it seems like the set of course is turning into the, the R factor of driving simulators with everyone just wanting to make mods for it, which is awesome. So thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, remember to like, subscribe, and uh, click on other videos and watch them as well. Goodbye.